Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. I couldn't be more excited to do this review today because I've been wanting to do this for quite a while. Uh, we're gonna review Cognito today from Lloyd Barnes and Owen Garfield. And I got a big giveaway coming up for November next week. The Thanksgiving giveaway is next week. You wanna be ready because it's gonna be big, big. In fact, it's been a giveaway years in the making, whatever that means. But Cognito, let's get back to the subject. Cognito, what is it? It is an app. It is an app, it is. Uh, and let me just say, I have a Predictogram already because this is another uh, Owen Garfield effect, right? Predictogram is one of the apps that I have on my phone right now. People say, hey, what magic apps do you have? I have a couple, okay? I have a couple. I have Inject, I have AnyWeb2, I have Predictogram, um, I have my Turner watch uh, on there, and I have Cognito. Now here's the, some of the, and, and this, this is probably gonna be a little bit more organic uh, in the way I do this review today, just because I don't know that an app really answers the same types of questions that we normally ask. So I might bounce around a lot. But um, the thing about Cognito that's cool is it's an app that doesn't look like an app, all right? So there's been some magic apps that disguise themselves as Google, right? But this trick disguises itself as your gallery. So wherever you store pictures. Now, I think right away we need to realize that people who use uh, Apple products or Mac products, right, see things differently than people that use Droid, right? <laughs> In fact, more people have Droid than have Apple. So um, I kind of wish that there had been some sort of uh, equality there because I really didn't understand the, some of the teaching because I didn't fully grasp uh, what they wanted me to do. And, and this all pertains to how the trick looks at the very beginning of this. So like I was saying, some tricks, uh, some magic apps start off as a, uh, a, a Google web browser. So you open a web browser and then the first thing the spectator sees is a web browser. You say, see, I've gone to Google. But with Cognito, it's supposed to look like you're clicking your gallery. All right, so one of the things you need to do is you need to transform the startup screen on Cognito to look like where you would find your gallery. Some of us, our gallery is not on our homepage. That's important. Uh, and it wasn't on mine, okay? So I think however you start this trick, you need to be thinking, it has to look like you're going to your pictures, wherever you store pictures. So as soon as I figured out that, okay, this is how the trick goes, it's, it's supposed to look like I'm showing you my phone and then it's supposed to look like I click gallery or I click photos or my photos or wherever your pictures are stored. It's supposed to look like you're clicking that. So then I, once I realized that, then I was like, okay, now I understand. I'm gonna make my, the startup screen on Cognito look like that. And so that's what I did. Then you have your pictures and just the way we use pictures, right? We usually scroll them this way, right? We show pictures and we scroll and we scroll and we scroll. So the way Cognito works is um, you, you can either show the pictures to the spectator and say, hey, look at these pictures. And then the magician scrolls through the pictures. Or the second way this program works is if I hand the phone to the spectator and they scroll through the pictures. It's almost the same trick, almost but those are the two performance ways to do it, okay? The end result will almost be the same, but there's two levels, there's two ways to do this trick, and they're both different tricks, let me just say. If the magician's holding it, they're, they're doing something, but if the spectator's holding it, it's working a different way. I know I'm being really vague, but I'm trying to give you all the information. So my first question is usually, is it what I thought? I didn't know at all what to think by this. I knew it was a magic app. I knew it was popular, but I didn't fully understand that. So after I got the trick and after I installed it on my phone, 
uh, I saw the, the I saw the trick, and there's the the first trick is called chaos, and you can do chaos one of two different ways. You can do it as a reveal, or you can do it as a peek. And so let me just tell you how chaos goes. So let's say you've brought up the gallery. Now we got that far, right? We got up the gallery, and the gallery is showing uh, uh, cards that have been dropped on the ground. And you tell the spectator you can think of any card you want in a deck. It doesn't have to be in this picture. Just think of any random card, no force, no equivocate. They think of it. And you just all you ask is, do you see the card in this picture? And they say yes or no. And you scroll to the next picture. Do you see your card in this picture? They say yes or no. And you scroll to the next picture. If you do this trick as a reveal, the last picture will reveal their card as if by magic. Like I like you had this picture on your gallery the whole time, which is really how Predictogram works, right? Predictogram is done with Instagram. There are also pictures in a gallery. The spectator comes up with a random card and that card is revealed in your Instagram gallery. So those two tricks are, are virtually the same. However, you can do chaos as a peak reveal. So you say, is it here? No. Is it here? Yes. Is it here? Yes. And then the last picture is some rando picture, right? Just like, oh, we've got to the end. And then as you turn and pivot the camera towards you or the phone towards you, and as you put it in your pocket, the app will peek their card to you. And so that second option, the peak option, that's the way I do it because I think that option's way cooler. And that's how the trick goes, right? That's how the trick goes. And so the other tricks that are on here, and we'll get to those, are all variations on a theme. Okay, it's always going to kind of go in that same way. The reason why it's called Cognito is because this is an app, right, that is disguised as your picture gallery. So this is always going to be some sort of trick that's being done with your picture gallery, which means you don't need Wi-Fi. So if I were going to say something positive about this right away, you don't need internet to do this trick. So you can be someplace with no internet and you can do this trick. Uh, can it be inspected? Uh, like I said, there's a trick on here there's, and, and there can be other tricks where you hand the phone to the spectator and you say nothing. You say nothing, no words at all, and you're still able to reveal, which is powerful, very powerful, right? Um, overall quality and production value of the video, uh, you do get a video. It's an hour and 22 minutes. It's filmed vertically, so it's filmed for a cell phone, right? But the app itself also comes with a PDF. So everything you can learn in the video, you can learn in the PDF as well. So if you just want to read it and you want to read the instructions on your phone, you can do it that way too. As far as what they're going to teach you on the video, you'll learn how to perform this trick on yourself. They'll give you an overview and tell you how Cognito works. And then they'll walk you through the two different principles that this trick is based around. They'll talk about how you could use a confederate, how to exit the program, and then they'll walk you through all the presets that are in the settings. And we'll get to presets. We'll talk to you about how you can modify this yourself. They'll talk to you about how to get your peak and then how to create your own routines. They'll give you some tips and tricks. They'll talk to you about power, how you can do this trick on a spectator's phone, and they'll tell you how to access the Facebook group. And then there's some crediting at the end. All right, so if you read the ad copy, it talks about all the different tricks and all the different things you can do with this, okay? And when I first opened the app, and I saw the chaos trick, I saw the two versions, the chaos reveal and the chaos peak, and that was it. So when you, this, here's a, so here's another tip from your Uncle Dave, all right? <laughs> when you open Cognito, you're only gonna see the two tricks there. And if you scroll upwards, nothing happens, but you have to scroll sideways. They don't peak, so they're not visible, but if you scroll left, you'll get access to even more tricks. So there are other tricks included. There is a homonym trick included, this done with words. There is a horoscope trick, which is my favorite. Uh, this is all done in their hands, all done silently. They read their horoscope and at the end of it, you tell them what star sign they are. And then there is a date pick trick as well that works off of looking at different dates for different rock concerts, and then you know the date. And I, there's one in there with a um, map of the United States. So there's several tricks on here. So certainly with your $30, all right, whereas opposed to other apps where you only get one, you know, one trick, there's really, I think five now, five built into this. And even more if you include the fact that you get one that comes a couple different ways. You can either do it as a reveal or as a peak. So there's a couple tricks that have 
the, the option to do the trick in a different way. So you certainly do get a lot with this. Is it well-made? It is a well-made app. I haven't noticed any bugs or glitches in it myself. Um, and like I said, it's made for both platforms, right? iOS, Android, Apple, all that, you get both platforms. And like I said, uh, it doesn't need Wi-Fi at all. And it downloads to your phone, so it becomes an everyday carry. How much practice does it require? Uh, not much, really. I mean, not much at all. I mean, e both tricks uh, kind of go similar, right? The reveal trick or the peak trick kind of work similar. And the movements are all easily disguised. There's nothing difficult, nothing to memorize. Um, it's, it's a really great method. How much setup and reset is there? There is some initial setup for your phone, right? Because you're gonna need to modify your Cognito so that it becomes disguised. You have to disguise this to look like your phone. So however your phone looks, you wanna disguise it to look like that. Or like I was saying, you wanna disguise it so it looks like you're clicking your gallery when you come on. So wherever you store your gallery or your My Pictures, right? You want it to look like that. So you have to do that setup first. Uh, and then after that, it's pretty easy. And certainly if you wanna go down to the Facebook group and see what tricks are being developed over there, um, that is definitely uh, something to do to, to get the most out of this. But going back to setup and reset, I think it only took me, uh, it, well, it took me longer because I didn't know what I was doing. So I probably took me a good 15 minutes to kind of figure it out. I figured it out and I was able to go from there. Positives. What are the positives to Cognito? A certifiable heavyweight just stepped into the arena of magic apps. Negatives. All right, so what are the negatives? Um, one of the negatives for me was in the instructional video. The instructional video and I did not resonate. <laughs> we did not get along. Um, I, I already don't love the whole vertical teaching. I don't love that. Um, I'm a child of horizontal, and so that's kind of just where I feel comfortable. But I don't feel like the, the, the teaching was broken down into sections that were easy to follow. Um, they do do picture in picture because you're working with a phone, so they're showing you your settings and all that stuff, and that was great. But I found the teaching lackluster. I mean, to go through over an hour's worth of teaching, I never felt like it was exciting or engaging. So I, I, there was that. And then I just found myself skipping around a lot, trying to find the information. Like, I was like, no, I wanna start this. I, wanna, I want it to work. And I found myself skipping around like, okay, where, where is it? Since the teaching has come out, the instructors have made additional videos. So if you go to the teaching page, there's actually more videos now underneath where they do addendums to clarify things. There's a Q&A where they answer questions. And certainly there's people asking questions in the Facebook section. I think I was just looking for a classic, more traditional way of learning. And just, it was, it was hard for me to get going. Is it worth your money? It is $30, 30 bucks. It might seem like a lot, but like I said, you definitely get like four or five tricks with this already, okay? So that's great, and they're all built in. And certainly the horoscope trick and the chaos trick are the strongest two, and I think just those two alone are worth the $30. But you are gonna get out of this what you put into it. Let me just say that. Cognito is not gonna hold your hand, okay? And so if you're an engaging kind of person and you're fully willing to jump into the Facebook group and download some of the ones that uh, people have submitted and then start working on how you would build your own, the more you put into it, I'm gonna say it again, the more you put into it, the more value you're gonna get from this. If you're the kind of person that's creative and can kind of come up with their own tricks and you could take you know, pictures and, and put a trick together and your mind just thinks like that, I think you will get so much out of this that the price will just drop more and more and more. I think if you just spend $30 on this and you only use the five or six tricks that come with it, you know, you get what you pay for and it could just be one of the apps that sits on your phone and it's there when you remember. And that's fine too, really. Like I said, I think the tricks that come with this are already worth the price of admission. But if you're looking at that $30 price tag and you're like, oh, that's a lot for an app, I get it. But this thing is a workhorse. This thing is a workhorse. If you put the time and energy into this, 
you could scrap every trick that's on here and you could come up with your own original magic unique to you that didn't look like anybody else you'd be blowing minds with your own creative original stuff and that's what we all would like to do but don't just take my word for it don't do not take my word for it there are other magic review channels out there you should watch them and listen to them as well i do not want to be the only voice in magic nor should i be okay rue's reviews rue is awesome okay he reviews uh just the best stuff ever and so i would definitely check him out abraxas abraxas go check them out uh, check out that channel web of secrets did a review for this craig petty craig petty is not going to stir you wrong sebastian toka another great guy uh, definitely go check out his channel as well all of them have reviewed this i am late to the game all right i'm late to the game uh, probably because I've been playing with this for a while <laughs> and trying to figure it out, but I, I wanted to do the review after I'd figured it out. And so, um, yeah, check out all those voices and see what they had to say. And that's everything I can say about Cognito. Like I said, I purchased this myself with my own money, but you can find it wherever quality Murphy's Magic products are sold. Thanks guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.